Hello everybody, it's Greg with Superior Cleaning Equipment and I'm here with Lynn Fisher. Lynn, the Lynn as we call him. Yeah. Third, how many years? 30 plus years. 30 plus years Keep as going. a land and regional sales manager. Extraordinaire. <laughs> top producer, by the way. That's right, with the top dealer. Yep, well, one of the. Yeah, sorry uh, Calvin. Yeah, no problem. Um, so we're, we're going to do a little video today on educating you on the difference between the Landa HD series, and this is a direct drive, uh, very popular unit, 4 gallon a minute, 3500 psi. 4, oh, it is? Yeah, oh, you can get it in 435 or yeah. 404. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's about the same price. I think it's within 100 bucks. And aluminum frame, and it's got, you know, the, uh, it's very lightweight, uh, very nice. We've gone over the HD series and some other videos before. Uh, but we're going to talk about you know why you might want to go why you may want to go to the PG. So the Landa PG unit, geez, I've been a dealer for 28 years. Uh, Landa celebrating its 50th anniversary, but right behind us here is one of the original PGs. It's a 1981 uh, that that had come out, still runs by the way, and this has been the workhorse of the cold water industry. Um, you want to talk about it a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I mean, the reason why it's a workhorse is one of the things is the pump. The heart of any pressure washer is the pump. And this particular that one, run, it runs at around 1185 RPMs versus uh, the direct drive unit will run the RPM of the engine, you're looking around 3300 RPMs. Yeah. And you can also see just the pure size yeah. uh, of it. Uh, just by the way, that's a, that's a 4 at 4? Right. Okay, that's a 4 at 35. 35. Look at the size of that pump. Right. And then look at the size of this pump. Mm -hmm. Same pressure in gallons per minute. That's what people don't understand when they're buying a pressure washer. Right. And they're like, well, you know, I'm gonna buy this little pump that's as big as my fist because it puts out, you know, 3,000 PSI. But the bottom line is, look at the, the crank, the rod, mm -hmm. the oil bath it's capacity, amazing. and you're running at half the RPM. Right. This thing, you know, we've had painters and roofer, roofers and a lot of people, we've seen these out in the field, you know, 20, 25 years. Mm -hmm. They're taking care of it. Mm -hmm. The other nice feature about the, well, there's a few features, but one of them is the, the vibration isolated feet, which will keep, if you ever have something that's, you know, direct drive running 3,300 RPMs, it'll tend to bounce around. This, well, because, walking. yeah, a lot of walking. Well, this will not walk at all with the, with the uh, feet. And then also, we put a block unloader on here. And when you say block unloader, I mean, when you hook up your water source or you, you put the pressure washer hose and you, and you get in a tight spot and you start pulling it around, you're not going to pull the unloader off because it's hooked right to the frame. Where you see a lot of uh, designs will hook right to the pump and if you start pulling on it, you'll, you'll pull the unloader away from the pump. Well, the other nice thing about this too is look at the, you've got your, you've got your bypass hose, your right. bypass loop, pretty right. good size. You've right. also got, uh, it's free, it's freestanding out, you know, like you said, um, outside of the pump, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a big heavy duty unloader. Um, mm -hmm. That's what's nice. Spring it looks like it looks like it's come standard right. with that spring wound unloader on it. Correct. So by the way, just another little footnote: don't do this with your pressure washer. So we see people doing this all the time. They pull the trigger off, on, off, and on. Either it's off or it's on. That's your wear item right there. That's about a hundred and fifty dollar part. Can be on some of the industrial units. Mm -hmm. So the less of this, you know, the better. But anyway. Variable pressure, stainless steel wand, downstream injector, uh, four color-coded nozzles, 0, 15, 25, and 40. Uh, here's a downstream injector that clips on the end so that soap can be injected and does not run through the pump. On all the landing machines, regardless of what they are, they have great operator's manuals. I mean, um, ever since I've been a dealer for 28 years, I've never seen... Uh, another brand that does a better job with explosive view diagrams, troubleshooting, parts breakdowns, things like that. So, Along with the trilingual labels yep. for your operator, yep. um, which is important. And then the safety. This is it's a certified unit, and you say, well, what's certified about it? Well, just for one thing is the uh, hose guards. Eight inches on the uh, machine side and 24 inches on the operator side. So if anything ever, if a hose ever bursts, you got protection as far as for liability. And like we had mentioned before in some of the uh, other videos we've done, you uh, you replace that hose with something you buy somewhere else that has a eight inch guard on both sides and it doesn't have the 24 uh, inch right. guard on the other. On the operators, then, yeah. it, then you void the certification. Correct. So you one of the things about buying a Landa product is it is um, ETL certified UL 1776 specs. And one of those specs is 
that 24 inch hose guard. Right. So you want to make sure you keep that on. Right. Um, or buy land a hose from mm -hmm. a land a dealer, or, or right. at least, if nothing else, buy a hose with a 24 inch right. hose guard. And now we're speaking about that a land a dealer. Why should I buy from a land a dealer? Well, number one, the, all their service techs are land certi certified, and they actually go through a school, go through testing, and get recertified. And so, and then they're also a warranty service center. So don't just take your pressure washer to somebody who can fix it because everybody seems to know how to fix them. You want to take it to somebody who put on authorized parts and they know what they're doing and so they, they get it fixed the right way. And so many of them are sir. very good looking. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, I mean yeah. some of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to, nice. which I was, was going to refer, and you kind of decided to tell yourself that. Yeah. But I mean, so, uh, one of the top dealers is <laughs> Superior Cleaning Equipment. One of our top dealers and in the in the area and has been been at the top for what 28 years. Yeah, we like selling land and products. Yeah, yeah. Been good good relationships, great products. They've always been built. Uh, is it inside or outside the service factor? I can't remember the terminology. They're built inside the service factor. So, so not, they're yeah. not pressing up against you right. know if a manufacturer says, hey, you can use this pump up to 3,500 psi. Right. We're buying pumps that are made to run. 4,000 PSI, we're running them at 3,500, we're running them at lower, so they do a great job that way. Again, uh, GX, um, uh, GX series, pulling yeah, the motor, mm -hmm. yep. Nine horsepower, yep. Yep, great motor. actually 13 horsepower, sorry. Okay, um, and they do a great job. This motor is a standard on a lot of our products. The MEC video that we've mm -hmm. done, some of the HD videos on the 3,500 PSI range. We have, I, I can tell you, I've been a dealer for going on 29 years. I, Hardly do we have any issues with the Honda motors. Mm -hmm. uh, we just don't run into uh, you know, situations that way, especially on the cold water units. And the pump comes with a seven year warranty on the oil and Yep, oil under the pump. And you've got a, I think it's two years on the Honda motor now. Yeah. And then you say five years on the frame? Or yeah. Seven. Mm -hmm. Five on the frame. Okay. Yeah, so this unit, by the way, is heavier. Uh, it's not as easy to get around as some of the things you might find in other places, but. This thing is a tank. I mean, it is beefy. I mean, with weight comes durability and an industrial look and feel that you don't find uh, in a lot of other manufacturing units. It's more expensive, but you'll find that uh, uh, most dealers are around that area. But the ROI on this machine, I mean, you'll be buying three or four other machines uh, in order to take the place of this machine. We've well, had great luck. We, at the factory, we, it's built to last. Yep. It, it, it just land really the top. Is, exactly, land the top. Yep. That's our comparison today on the, the PG mm -hmm. versus the HD and some of the other units on the market. Lynn, as always, yep. thanks for joining us yeah. here in the Superior Clean right. Equipment Office. Till we, till we do it again. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if you find your local authorized land the dealer, right. uh, if you're looking for this unit or any other units you see on our videos, we're in Phoenix and San Diego, and you can see our products at www.sceclean.com. And uh, we appreciate you watching. And to our customers that are watching, we appreciate the business. Thanks.